Hello everyone, welcome back to another Geology practical video. Today I am going to explain you the important physiology experiment from Zoology that is identification of the presence of glucose in given samples. My dear students, among these four samples, one of the samples contain uh, glucose in it. So now we are going to identify in which glucose is present. Okay, the aim is to examine and identify the presence of glucose in the given samples. So that is the aim of uh, this physiology experiment. Next principle, my dear students, glucose present in the sample reduces blue colored alkaline copper sulfate of Benedict's reagent. My dear students, here to identify glucose from these samples, we use Benedict solution. So Benedict solution is in bluish color. When you add the Benedict to all the samples, all the samples turns into bluish color. When it is heated on water bath, if it remains in a bluish color, then it indicates there is no glucose in the sample. Clear? If the blue color solution turns into a red color, then it is said to be uh, the sample contains glucose. My dear students, the Benedict reagent is called as qualitative reagent. Why? Because it is not only used for identifying glucose, but also the percent of the percentage of glucose present in that sample also we can determine. So let us uh, uh, see uh, that. So glucose present in the sample reduces blue colored alkaline copper sulfate a Benedict reagent to red colored cuprous oxide. So in the co copper sulfate is there so that it is blue in color, blue in color. This glucose is if sample contains glucose, that glucose reduces copper sulfate into uh, cuprous oxide which is red in color. By that we can identify the sample contains glucose. Then chemicals and apparatus. My dear students, Benedict reagent, this is, we will call it as Benedict qualitative reagent because it uh, not only used for identifying glucose but also how much percent of glucose present in that also we can identify. Let us discuss later on. So then test tubes as we know four test tubes and the droppers and the spirit lamp are gas stove, right? Because you know, we need to uh, heat it. After adding the Benedict solution these four test tubes are heated on water bath then uh, to see the observation. Right. The procedure take 0 0.5 ml solution from the four given sample separating four test tubes. As I am taking this test tubes A and uh, C uh, B and C and D. Already I marked them so to easily uh, to drain these all into this. There are four test tubes. So take the four samples into four test tubes. Uh, then mix 5 ml of Benedict reagent, this is the Benedict reagent, add four, 5 ml into each test tube reagent in each test tube. Boil this mixture for 3 minutes and allow it to cool. So here you have to heat for 3 minutes on water or not directly. So after heating let it uh, the cool. So here observation, let us see here, this is the report because it is qualitative reagent. Observation, if the solution remains clear blue, because before heating it was uh, blue, if remains in a blue color, then indicate there is no glucose in it. So no glucose present in the sample. Okay, confirm. Then, if the solution turns green in color, the glucose percentage is 0.5, my dear students, 0.5% of the glucose is there, but its percentage is 0.5. If it turns into yellow color, the glucose is present but its percentage is 1%. 1% of glucose in the solution. Then orange color, 1.5% uh, of glucose in it. And if it turns into brick red, then we can identify 2% of glucose in, in it. The solution contains. Of course, my dear students, this all indicates glucose presence only. Until uh, the, if the color does not change, then we can say no glucose. If color changes into different color, if the colors into different manner, then we can say that the percent of glucose is uh, different. 
So that's why it is called as qualitative reagent. It is not only this, uh, the, uh, deciding, quality also deciding. If, if I got yellow color, then I can say that yes, of course, glucose is present, but one person glucose is present. If my sample got a uh, red color, then I, I, I reveal that my uh, glucose percent, glucose is present in that sample, but its percent is two. Like that. So the result is brick red color indicates the presence of 2 to 3 percent of glucose in it. So let us perform this activity. Alright, now uh, let us take uh, uh, let us start the procedure. So I told you take 0 0.10 ml of solution from the 4 given sample separately in each test tube. Right, I am taking A sample into A and uh, draining in it. So let us take sample A in this. Right. Alright. Now sample B in it. So instead I am taking directly. It's not a problem because droppers it will take time. So meanwhile I, I started stout. So the water is heating, boiling. So because the water we have to boil the test tubes in water, boiling water. I am taking test tube uh, C. I took this sample into C test tube and even test tube D also here. All right, children. So now I drain the samples into each test tube separately. Now I'm gonna add Benedict solution, which is generally bluish color. So when I add uh, this Benedict solution to each test tube, all test tube solution turns into bluish color because of copper sulfate. See? So turn into bluish color. Right. So see, see the solution turned into blue. And here also. Alright. Then C sample. So this also turns into bluish color because when the when the solution, when the reagent itself bluish color because of copper sulfate, my dear students. So see all 4 by 4 samples are looking uh, are appearing in bluish color only. Now after heating, after uh, boiling, so whether it converts into different colors or remains in the same, let us discuss. So I have drained all the 4 samples into this. So my dear students, I am going to be, my dear students in the laboratory when you are using stove like uh, apparatus. So please take much care because uh, these are uh, danger. So take the help of your teachers, lecturer. Wait a moment. So I am keeping like this only.
Alright, because I heated more uh, uh, water into more heat so that it turns very quickly. So I, I close this one. Have a look at this four slides, the uh, four uh, test tubes. A, test tube A remains bluish color. So no glucose is found. Alright, so test tube B turns into uh, brick red color. 2% of glucose minus students. Alright. So test tube C remains same bluish color, test tube uh, D remains same. So by this we can understand that the test tube uh, sample B contains glucose that to 2% to 3% of glucose is present. So this is regarding this. So uh, fill this table. A. So remains blue, no glucose is formed. Now B turns into brief red color, then 2% of glucose is present in the sample. C remains in blue color, no glucose is formed. Remains in blue color, no glucose is formed. So this is regarding presence of glucose. Presence of glucose in the given samples. So how will come to this? Turns into uh, reddish color, whereas remaining all the, are, uh, they are showing the same color uh, of a solution. Thank you all.